everyone, this is Sean Wildermuth with Agila Train. I wanted to show you a new app we've developed here uh, called Goo News. Now, I wrote Goo News because I wanted an app like it and I couldn't find it. And so, of course, as a developer, that's what I do. So let's start it up real quick. And the idea of Goo News is to simply have a, a simple UI for looking at what the latest stories are. You can kind of scroll through them. You can click on a story and it'll pop it open in a uh, browser window and when you're viewing the story itself you can uh, add it to Instapaper if you've registered uh, in the settings to ha have Instapaper support you can view it in uh, Internet Explorer full or you can even share it via email I won't do any of those because this is on the emulator let's go back real quick and we can see that we can go through several different categories. These are all from Google News, and so we can get a sense of how long ago the stories were. And I use this when I have some downtime. I'm sitting at the line and bank and that sort of thing to just uh, catch up on what the news stories of the day are. The thing I really wanted out of this, because I can get kind of this behavior from some of the other apps, was the ability to go ahead and decide what kind of news I wanted. Now, the default um, stories here are all the default uh, stories that Google News supports. Uh, so let me leave top news down there, but I don't, maybe not the world, and certainly let's get rid of entertainment, because who cares what's happening on the hills. That's a dated reference, I'm aware of that. It's supposed to be ironic. Um, and so you have the standard categories, but what I really wanted was the, abil uh, the ability to make my own news feeds. And so being able to do this by keyword WP7 for Windows Phone 7 let's add another one for Xbox and when we go back we can see that we have our same categories we had before but now we have uh, categories specific to those search terms we want so we can have really specific news um, to get an idea of what's happening in certain categories, Microsoft, Xbox, Apple, whatever you care to really be interested in. And this will really, this helps me uh, figure out the way that the applicate, uh, the way that news is going on, tr helps me keep um, up to speed. Some of the technical details is that I'm not doing a lot in tom tombstoning, but what I am doing is as the feeds are being loaded in, I'm caching them for about a half an hour. You can uh, get the latest news by hitting the re refresh button if that's really what you want but on the whole the idea here is for it to kind of live in a cache so that ca um, startup behavior once you've loaded it up within 30 minutes should be able to roll through here I don't spend a lot of time reading each um, story I'm much more interested in the headlines and then, then I dive down when I start to look at um, individual stories you know uh, this bad story about the sex game uh, and connect which of course is completely incorrect and then um, you know who's in the playoffs and those sorts of things just to kind of keep up to speed I don't care what the score was today um, for a particular game but I do care that the uh, uh, Giants and the Packers that the Packers got in the Giants did and that sort of thing make sense well hope you go get this there'll be a link on the site do you know if you're if you are interested? It does support um, e all four direct uh, all three directions, so that if you're used to seeing your your stories in in the wide format instead of the narrow format, you can do that. And of course, uh, get the same sort of behavior being able to use Instapaper, which I've become addicted to as my reading queue. So I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to leave a note on the site if you like the app or if you don't like the app or is something you'd like to see us um, invest, invest in in the future. Thank you.